All right, I know we always tease and say that we know they motivate for a year, <laughs> but we always share wisdom. Yes, mm. yes, yes. I love it. You have a All point. Right. <laughs> and uh, here's one of the things that will mess up your life more than anything else, and that is lack of clarity. A lack of clarity is the reason why people end up in unhealthy relationships, unfulfilling careers, sad marriages, etc. Because when you lack clarity, all your life choices are made from a place of confusion, and the result is a life filled with unhappiness, depression, anxiety, and all sorts of emotional issues today as usual we have put together five signs you are suffering from a lack of clarity and we hope that you can work on them why because this is daily top five five four three two one Watch me. All right, so the very first uh, <laughs> way you know that you lack clarity is if you are consumed with what others are doing. Focusing on other people's lives by gossiping, comparing, etc. is the best indication of a lack of clarity. When you get clear on where you are going with your life, you will channel all your energy towards your goals and completely forget about what other people are doing. <laughs> and uh, this is just uh, follow, follow. Yeah. <laughs> to summarize, you follow, follow. Don't say, oh, because this person is doing this thing, that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Because you meet another person that's doing another thing, and that's what you want, want to do. do. Yeah. And that person yeah. another thing, and that's, that's what, what you want, you want to, to do. do. And mm -hmm. then when you now collate all the, that's what you want to do together, all of it is not a nothing, because you never really follow through with anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, not a follow, follow. That's and what I always tell like people, it. try yeah. to have direction. When yeah. you have a sense of direction, and you're very sure of what you want to do, then things will go smoothly. That's right. I think when you're focusing on yourself, then you can get more clarity. Like yesterday, I was talking about Whiskey and how his level of unbothered is something that needs to be studied. <laughs> He's just focusing on his grind. And like, you can literally be fighting in front of Whiskey, like, hmm? I'm not saying anything. I think we need to like pick, you know, something from yeah. that kind of yeah. mentality where it's like, you know what? I'm focusing on me. Yes, this gist is interesting, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. but I need to focus on my life and what I want yeah. to do. Yeah, I even, agree. The way, even the way they say negative things about him, and he's not bothered. He doesn't respond. Does he? Ah, no, he writes one. LOL. Shala. <laughs> All right. Another, Lots of love. Yes. <laughs> another reason for a lack of clarity is that you are indecisive. You take forever to make decisions and half the time you end up regretting them. This is as a result of a lack of clarity. When you get clear about your life, it will become easier for you to make the best decisions regarding your career, life partner, choice of business, friendships, ETC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you'll never know how to make the right decisions if you don't make the wrong ones. Yeah. So um, whenever you pick something and you say that this is what I've decided, mm -hmm. stand on it. Learn from it if it mm -hmm. didn't go the way you wanted it to. If it does, then that means you knew what you do in that moment. Give yourself a pat on the back and face the next uh, adversary mm -hmm. that it might be in front of you. Because at the end of the day, if you still keep doing, oh, this thing that I, uh, and you're spending mm -hmm. too much time. It's like in the exam hall that year, when you finish, and then somebody's coming outside and bringing us, yeah, number four I wrote, don't tell me. I don't <laughs> finish. I don't tell me. I, I think, I think to go. add to that, I feel a lot of um, indecisiveness is also born out of the fact that. Um, you're not also sure mm. of what you're looking for and what you want. And it's okay not to be sure. And then you can also start from things like that. I think the best thing to do is research, yeah. right? Because some of these mistakes, some of these choices, if you learn it by yourself, <laughs> you took. So you start, you start with small things. Do you know that some people don't even, if you go to a restaurant, it's like, what do you want to eat? I don't know. It's not cute, yeah. ladies. I mean, if somebody is asking you, stop always pushing it to the guy, like anything you want. Like sometimes, oh, which actually, you want to eat no, that? I don't, I don't know. know. Like, it it start from as little as that. Start asking yourself, what do I want? Like, who am I? It's part of actually knowing who you are. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, mm -hmm. another sign that you are indecisive is you are inconsistent. So it's hard to stay consistent when you don't know exactly what you're doing it for or where you are headed with it. For you to become consistent, you must gain absolute clarity on why you are doing what you are doing. Mm -hmm. And this is something that uh, people have emphasized. A lot of people I know, even myself, have emphasized it. Consistency is key. Mm -hmm. When you're consistent with your craft, with what you do, with putting yourself out there, people would always see you, and every time they see you, they would remember what you do because mm -hmm. you are consistent. Mm -hmm. And social media nowadays, what it needs is consistency. Mm -hmm. People move on like in the twinkle of an eye. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. People can be following you, and the next thing, you be like, oh, people haven't followed me. Because you're not consistent. Mm -hmm. You're not giving them the content they signed up for. Hey. They followed you because of your content. No vex. Why are you angry? No, because <laughs> I had a conversation with someone recently, <laughs> and she was saying, the way people unfollow <laughs> people, that it's content. so bad. And I'm like, well, people <laughs> follow you for your content, and you stop giving them the content. <laughs> so if you're not giving me what I want, then what am I doing here? Please don't and that's name something names. I've... Real life. <laughs> no, I know people it has happened to. No, I'm not mm -hmm. upset, but I'm just saying <laughs> it's just the truth. Take it. Be consistent. Okay, ma. Yes, ma. All right. All right. So another point I'm going to make is that you feel lost and confused. Mm -hmm. You're completely clueless on what to do with your life. You don't know your purpose of existence. You don't have goals, visions, etc. You go into relationships to fill the void. But deep down, you know you want more out of life. When you gain clarity, you'll go from confused to living an intentional, purposeful, and fulfilling life. And this is very true. Nobody has offended you in this one. Nobody. Give us the content. <laughs> because we want content. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Right. But yeah, um, I actually really like this one because, I mean, at the end of the day, see, if you don't gather yourself mm -hmm. in this life that we are inside, <laughs> you will not like where you are going to land at the end of the day. Um, there's a lot of people that you can look up to. There's a lot of people that you can see what they've done to say, oh, this is what I want to do. This is along the line that I want to go, even if mm -hmm. you don't have the direction. Yeah. Even if, like I said, it's okay not to know because I tell people all the time, this is the first time we're living this life. There's no handbook. Mm -hmm. There's no past question for your life. But then you can draw from what other people mm -hmm. have um, done and what other people have talked about, what other people have been through mm -hmm. to be able to act as a guide for you. Yep. But at the end of the day, pick you. Yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, and uh, wrapping up our daily top five, number five, we have this here saying you lack enthusiasm. So you have a lukewarm outlook towards life and you don't look forward to much. You don't have any exciting plans. You basically just get by. And this is as a result of a lack of clarity. Having clarity improves your outlook towards life, gives your life meaning, and helps you create an exciting life for yourself. Mm -hmm. So for this one, I'm going to just say that if you love something, if it's your passion and you're enthusiastic about it, mm -hmm. you would not see it as a job. Instead, you enjoy what you do and you do it with all the love in your heart. And then if you remembered my gratitude, mm -hmm. when you lose your enthusiasm, go find that candle within you do. Ah. But don't off the lights. As in... <laughs> because that is lack of enthusiasm. Yeah. The fire has gone. True. And it, it does happen from time to time, but you have to find it. And as you said, it comes from doing things that you naturally like, your hobbies, things you do easily. Mm -hmm. Don't go and say, everybody's doing tech. Now, let me go and code. If you yeah. write one line like this... Hmm. Oh, you got a new popsicle. You don't have to freeze it. Everything I melt. So you give my money. <laughs> do what comes easy to you. I hope we have been able to motivate you and not demotivate you that you are lacking clarity in your life. <laughs> and if you don't know, actually, thank you, Pastor. Anyway, so guys, that's the end of Daily Top 5. <laughs> we'll be back with Truth Syndrome Monday. Of <laughs> <laughs>